Pepsi is in a heap of trouble. That's how people in the country say, heap of trouble. For this ad that they put out, where they basically trivialize the Black Lives Matter movement by having these officers lined up like in protest riot style gear and you had a group of young people on, on the opposite side and uh, Kendall Jenner approaches the, in the climatic scene, Kendall, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to say this, Kendall Jenner, Jenner <laughs> approached the officer with a Pepsi, gave him a Pepsi <laughs> And the crowd bust in the cheer, and the, the police smiled. Police kind of like gave a little grin, and the crowd bust in the cheer. Which leads me to think, and I'm, and I'm now feeling real stupid, because all this time we've been trying to figure out what can we do to stop these crooked ass police, trigger happy police from killing everybody. We was thinking about, it. we had to get doing town hall meetings, all this time we're doing town hall meetings and we talking about body cameras and increasing their pay and getting better training and we talking all of this stuff about increasing police, community, involvement, interaction, all this time. You mean to tell me all we had to do is give them a damn Pepsi? Unbelievable. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Now, this is what I want y'all to know. Uh, this would, well, Let me say this here first. This is the statement. This is what Pepsi said in a statement. This is what they said yesterday. Pepsi was trying to project a global message of unity, peace, and understanding. Clearly, we missed the mark and apologize. We did not intend to make light of any serious issue. We are pulling the content and halting any further rollout. You don't say. Now, They also uh, act, I mean, they said that they were doing this to uh, increase uh, community activism. See, this is why diversity is so important. This is why it's important to have black people in the room when these big deals are going down. Because black people are a very big part of this country. And anything going on in this country affects black people just like it affects everybody else. I damn near think that anytime you're doing a commercial, especially when you're doing something that's, that's sensitive to a particular group, you need to have representatives of that group in the damn room and have being a part of that discussion. With all this money, all these billions of dollars that Pepsi got. You mean to tell me they didn't have one soul, not one person, stood up and said, hey guys, I don't think that's a good idea. They didn't have one person, like, like, I'm just, like, not one, you know, I want to, I'd rather believe that they had somebody in there that tried to speak and then they had uh, one or two people in there tried to speak and, and Pepsi's boss was just arrogant and self-aggrandizing and just said, you know what? Shut up. We're going to do it my way. That's what I'd like to believe. I'd rather believe that over believing that they didn't have not one person stand up and say, this don't look right. I don't think we should do this. Y'all know, y'all remember the scene where the black lady held her hands up? This was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, when the black lady, I, I think Aisha something, she held her hands up and she was, uh, the police rushed her. They had on ride gear, it was a line of them and they rushed her. The, the, the image is iconic now. 
but she had her hands up. That was bold and resolute. There wasn't nothing, nothing peaceful about that. And she didn't have anything in her hand. She was, she was ready to face whatever. That, that was, that was, she was on some warrior shit. You dig what I'm saying? And they in here skinning and grinning, and smiling and profiling and all of that. That ain't what, that ain't what the movement is about. See, they trying to trivialize what was going on. And in a way, man, I think some of these companies know what they're doing. And I think they purposely take jabs at certain people in certain movements, because, you know, just to feed their egos. I really do. I really do believe that. I'm saying that no one at Pepsi, not one person, stood up and said anything. I'm reading y'all comments, y'all. When you see me looking down, I'm reading your comments. Not one person stood up and said, this is a problem. Pepsi, somebody need to be fired. Uh, y'all need to close y'all whole damn operations down. Because this ain't the first time y'all have made a big, 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 huge mistake shooting a commercial. Y'all remember back in the gap when they tried to kill Mike? I think that was the first assassination attempt on Michael Jackson's life. When they, uh, Michael Jack, they had Michael Jackson performing and doing some, they had some power, uh, what do you call them, uh, you know, whatever they, the, the, those uh, flat, flaring, um, what do they call them? Politics, that's what it's called. Yeah. So they had those things going off and stuff, and, and, and caught one of them caught Michael Jackson's hair and burned his hair. And that is actually what inspired the song Beat It, because he was beating it, and, and somebody was yelling, Tito, and they were saying, Beat It! And he was beating his hair and stuff. And that's how he came up with the song Beat It. A lot of y'all didn't know that. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all, man. <laughs> that is not how this man came up with the song beat. In fact, that song was already recorded. But I'm just saying, man, Pepsi, yeah, y'all need to do a better job, man. I mean, y'all really do, man. Y'all got people that's degreed, people that went to school for marketing, people that's got master's degrees in marketing, people that's been in marketing for 20, 30, 40 years. Y'all should know better than that. Y'all should know way better than that. Making a damn commercial with policemen lined up in ride gear and protesters on the other side, side with signs and y'all gonna calm it the situation down by handing the police a Pepsi. I'm gonna ship tell you how you should, how you could have got them to act right. Uh, get ass some donuts. Should have gave them some donuts. You know, hey man, give them a a copy of the civil civil rights bill. How about that? Maybe uh, even better than that. How about? giving them a copy of a damn indictment and then some convictions. How about that? 